the first train with electric traction in India ran in 1925 between Bori Bandar, where the Bombay Victoria Terminus stands, to Kurla on the Central Railway. The erstwhile Great Indian Peninsula Railway initiated operations using electric tractions with EF1 aka WCG1 for freight operations and the EA1 that was rebadged as the WCP1 for passenger duties under the 1500 volt DC system. Operations with electric traction were between Bombay Viti and Igatpuri on the northeast and towards Pune on the southeast section of the Great Indian Peninsula Railway. By the 1930s, electric traction had reached up to Pune and the Deccan Queen commenced services in 1930 with a WCP-1 locomotive. On the Western Railway, electrification of the line from Kolaba to Borivili was completed by 1928 and the section between Borivili and Virar was complete by 1936. The Madras and Calcutta territories began electric traction with 1500 and 3000 volt DC systems respectively, but by the mid-1950s had shifted to AC electric traction. This made the Bombay Territory an island of DC electric traction. The Central Railway, because of the steep gradients, opted to use electric traction from as early as the 1930s. Traction was provided by DC electric locomotives dominated by the WCM series class. The Western Railways, on the other hand, continued with steam and subsequently diesel traction until the advent of the WCAM1 class AC-DC locomotives in 1979. The Central Railways persisted with the WCM series class until the mid-1990s when frequent operational breakdowns of these aging locomotives prompted the shifting to WCAM3 and WCAM2 class that was successful on the Western Railway. The WCAM2 and WCAM3 class locomotives provided traction power on the Central Railways until 2014 when the entire Bombay territory eventually shifted to AC traction. The WCAM class AC-DC locomotives are still operated by both the Central Railways and the Western Railways. But with the advent of modern three-phase AC locomotives like the WAP-7, their days are numbered. While India had adapted 25 kV AC traction by the mid-1950s as standard, the Bombay Territory took over six decades to bid goodbye to the obsolete DC systems. This was to avoid disruptions of the suburban EMU traffic that are Bombay's lifeline. What are your views? Please share in the comments section. If you like this video and other videos on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon.